Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been thinking about you today and why. Today is the 1st of July, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 8.14 a.m. Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo. Spirits and angels, please show me who has been thinking about Virgo today and why. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Hangman, could be a Pisces, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, strong Libra, any fixed signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, doesn't matter, can be any sign, okay? You have one, two, three, maybe three people here uh, thinking about you today, um, but just say what resonates with you, but there's one person here, uh, Virgo, I feel that they've been keeping tabs on you, okay? They're kind of upset with you, not a sorts. There's someone here who is angry with you. Maybe because of your last communication you had with this person with Page of Wands and Love First. And they have been thinking a lot about you. They're kind of stuck with the world here in Love First. Wondering if both of you are going to speak again or if both of you are going to see each other again. Or just thinking about what am I going to do or what am I going to say the next time I speak with Virgo. Some of you, this could be a family member or someone you, uh, you're close to or close with. But it could also mean that this is someone you may want to have a future with or they may want to have a future with you. There are kids here too. It could mean family or a child or someone someone younger than you are it does look like it's someone younger than you are but it doesn't matter if it's not their age if it's not the age it could just be them just i feel like this person can be a little bit unreasonable maybe they're immature in a sentence because there are two pages here both are immovers this is someone who is like quite immature with their words uh, could be quite aggressive with their words or impulsive and then we've got the queen of pentacles here they could be thinking about you because you offer them comfort home or stability um, they could be thinking about a future with you again with the ten of cups right here they want i feel like this person wants to be connecting with you or continue to connect with you or to reconnect with you but deep down i don't know why but this could be like like this sense of entitlement or just um very immature energy unless they're younger than you are so this person could be thinking about how this is not fair you know maybe something you said to them or Maybe you could be focusing on something else and not on them. Two of Wands here is in love first. Two of Pentacles in love first. This could also mean that this is someone where you could be separated from or going through some issues. Now again, the Nine of Swords can be quite aggressive. So I feel like this person is kind of upset with you. That's why they're thinking about you. But they're also currently thinking about the future. Making a decision in regards to the future or a decision that has been made already. Yeah, it looks like most likely something is going on between the two of you. Um, either both of you have, have had an argument or a separation, something that isn't aligned within this connection, Virgo, that I feel that they've been thinking a lot about that. Um, they could also be wondering if you're over it or not. Six of Swords. They could be thinking about moving towards Kama Water with you, coming clean with you, talk to you, Seven of Swords and Reverse, 
Ace of Pentacles, offer you commitment, or you know, ask you out or ask you ask to meet, whatever the case it could be. But I feel like Virgo, you have told this person off, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords has been coming out a lot in your reading. Uh, I normally read the Queen of Swords as a Virgo, although it could be a Libra, Gemini, Chris is air energy. But she embodies a lot of Virgo's um, qualities. <laughs> so, but in any case, Virgo, this Queen of Swords, you may have told this person the truth or cut this person off. You may have been upset with this person. Both of you may have had some sort of altercation. So this person could be thinking about you today because there was an altercation or some sort of separation, okay? And for some of you, you may be taking a break from this person. And Six of Swords, they're thinking about, okay, what should I say next? Should we meet each other? Should we talk again? Seven of Wands in reverse. You may have caught this person off guard when you told them something or you said something to them, and they kind of resent you for that with the Knight of Swords. Now, there are two queens here. You could be embodying both. You could be thinking about what you said to them, but also on the other side, they know that you could give them a sense of stability. Hence, they are kind of trying to decide how to restore the balance between the two of you and then like be fair to each other and then talk about the future. What are both of you, what do you guys want to do? Like, do you want to call it quit for real? Or you want to rebuild this connection? Okay, let's see more Virgo. Lovers. I feel like Virgo, for some of you, this could be somebody you, 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 you're accusing. You've been accusing them for cheating on you. That may have caused a separation or not being intimate with you. I don't know. I'm just picking up on a very specific mes message here. So the Queen of Wands in reverse could mean there's a third party, right? You may have caught them. This person may have been caught by you for maybe lying, cheating, because there's seven of swords or doing something very selfishly. And you may have found out because you, page of swords, you were spying on them. Unless roles are being reversed, okay, unless you're the cheater instead. Um, I'm also Virgo anyway. Okay, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not picking on you, but I'm just saying that it could go vice versa here, all right? The Queen of Wands, in reverse, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person has been thinking about maybe you caught them, right? Lying and cheating, not telling the truth, act, or acting immaturely. Ten of Cups, so thinking about how do I go... How do I go about reuniting with Virgo after what had happened? And for some of Virgo, they may be resenting you because they don't think... They think you're just accusing them. It's not true. Some of you, it's true. It's true because you've already found out and you got the receipts. But for some of you, it could just be them feeling like upset with you because they think you're accusing them for cheating and lying. The lovers and the ace of pentacles. They could be upset with you because they think like, hey, I've, I've been loyal to Virgo. You know, this third party doesn't even exist. So this could be the reason why they're mad. Unless they really did, you do have the receipts, the proof that they did lie to you or cheated on you. Then the Knight of Swords, it's them being angry because they got caught. Now it just ruins the future of this connection. Let's pull out some of these romance angels here for a little. Let's see a little bit more. If you want a personal reading that is way more accurate than a general reading, you can book me. All info is below, okay? See, deception. This person has been thinking about you today because they've been caught lying, cheating, or they caught you lying, cheating, okay? Could go vice versa. 
some issues in regards to not telling the truth. And we've got retreat. This could be someone you're retreating from, or they're thinking about maybe both of you could go on a retreat or taking a break right now, with, whether with each other or separately, express your love. So they're thinking about what to say to you next, wanting to express their love to you or just their feelings, passion. So they could be thinking about being passionate with you, with the lovers, um, being close to you, being intimate with you. And for all we know, this Queen of Wands in reverse could be you too, Virgo, in reverse. They could be thinking about how you've been very cold to them lately and you haven't been too passionate or showing much desire towards them. So they could feel like something is off here. You might be upset with them. So they could be thinking about how do I go and offer Virgo something so we can be reunited or so we can fix things but somehow they resent you for that for acting coldly towards them all right Virgo this is your reading oh here give your relationship a chance so they may want a second chance uh, to make things right um, second chance to see each other again to talk again they could be thinking about that all right Virgo this is your reading Hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, all info is below. Make sure you subscribe anyways. If you've been here before, it's free to subscribe. And if you were to find this reading to be useful, you guys know I post your videos every single day and they're all brand new videos. I don't recycle any of the readings. And as we all know, things constantly change. Feelings always change. So keep yourself updated. On this channel by subscribing again it's free to subscribe and also Virgo don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time when I post your videos and I also have my other channels my travel vlog channel my main channel Chelsea Love Tarot where I would normally go live over there um, feel free to subscribe to the rest of my channels as well take care Virgo I hope to see you back here again soon love ya bye